Hey everyone and welcome back to another great Nintendo Switch eShop deals video. Now this week we once again have a ton of deals with somewhere around the 25 game mark. And a large part of this is due to the Bandai Namco sale because in conjunction with their release this week of Pac-Man 99, which is a free to play, free to download game that you should definitely all be checking out. Well, they decided to put pretty much every one of their franchises on sale. Don't worry, we don't only have Bandai Namco games, there are also a ton of other games that are currently on sale and that are worth mentioning. Now, I know I mentioned this in each one of my videos, but if you wanna make sure that you're getting all the games that are worthwhile right now, it's always important that you check out last week's video. Because if any games were mentioned in last week's video, well, we're not gonna mention them again in this week's. And especially right now, there are some huge game franchises that are still on sale this week. Uh, just to name a few, we have the whole Doom franchise, even Doom Eternal is still on sale. Uh, we have the Crash Bandicoot uh, Insane Trilogy that is currently on sale. So if you want to make sure that you're getting the full list before you decide to spend your money, always take a look at last week's list as well. Also, if you're new to the channel, we also do a mid-week update where I focus on all the best games that are currently on sale at under $5. There will be a few that sneak into this video, but if you're really focused at that under $5 budget price, I just want to let you know that there is a mid-week video as well that focuses only on those games. Now, last thing before we get started, as usual, don't forget that if you do like this content and you want to see more, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Now to start out our list this week, we are going to be taking a look at our first game, which is Little Nightmares, the complete edition that is currently 75% off, dropping the price all the way down to $7.49. Now this is a puzzle platformer with a horror slash very creepy theme to it. And basically, it is a very well received game. It's the sequel came out this year, but the first one still stands up to date. The only thing I have to mention about this game that I want to give a slight warning, the controls in some sections can be a little wonky and it's one of the reasons that I recommend this game, especially when it's on sale, because at that point at $7.49 for the overall experience, it becomes some amazing value. Now the next game on our list only has a few hours remaining to the deal, but if you're watching this video as it's being posted, you shouldn't have any problem picking it up. And that is Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered. That is currently 75% off at $7.49. Now this is actually a remaster that surprised me a ton. The original Red Faction was a pretty good game, but I'm actually surprised at how well it runs and how well the remaster was done on the Switch. This is basically a third person action shooter that have you running through a bunch of missions. It's a ton, a ton of fun. If you love action shooters, definitely give Red Faction a try for this week. Now the next game on our list is a game that still has a few days left on the deal. I mentioned I think about two weeks ago in a video and that is the Panzer Dragoon remake. This is basically an on the rail shooter that has you riding on the back of a dragon. Now this game is pretty short. You can actually play through it in only one hour approximately. However, it does offer tons of replayability with different objectives, different approaches that you can take to each playthrough. This is also a remake of a classic from the Sega era. And basically at full price, I can understand that for a one hour game, it's maybe not top notch worth it. But at 75% off for only $6.24, all of a sudden, the experience now really matches the price. Now, the next game was also featured in a video a couple of weeks ago, and that is Crypt of the Necro Dancer, that is currently 80% off at $3.99, and it also has about three days left on the deal. Now, Crypt of the Necro Dancer is a rhythm based roguelite dungeon crawler, and it is really one of the best you can get. I And honestly, this one surprised me because normally I'm not that into rhythm based games, but this one actually managed to capture me and draw me in. And you know that it's a good game when Nintendo actually picks up the developers and asks them to use one of their most iconic IPs, Zelda, to make a Zelda version of their game. It was that good. Now the next game I'm going to mention because it finally hit that 50% off mark and that is Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. 
Although this week, I personally prefer the triple collection that we'll be looking at in just a couple of minutes. But if you want to play the latest edition of Ultimate Ninja Storm, it is finally 50% off for $24.99. I really love these games, but I don't want to be paying the full $50 price. So I normally always wait for them to be 50% off. This is definitely a for the fans of the anime. If you don't know what Naruto Shippuden is, if you're not into anime, I would say skip this one for this week. But for definite fans of the series, it's tons of fun playing through the events of the storyline. Now, the next game, while we're on the topic of anime based games, is Jump Force the Deluxe Edition that is currently 40% off at $29.99. Now, personally, I did enjoy this game, but it was not my favorite of its iterations. I do find that the separate series games for each separate series is overall a better representation of each anime series. However, if you've ever wanted the crossover event game that has Naruto meeting uh, My Hero Academia, meeting Dragon Ball, meeting Bleach characters, well, then Jump Force is a dream come true. Of course, the game on the Switch, I would say, is not, once again, the best iteration of the game. But if you only have a Switch, it is a definite pickup if you're a fan of these anime series once again. Now, next on our list, we have one of the games that I think was most underrated, and that is Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth The Complete Edition. This is actually a really, really good RPG game based around the Digimon world. And honestly, I think even myself, it took me a while to discover this game because I was so used to the Digimon games that we got here in the West to be very so-so in quality. But trust me, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, if you're into the Digimon world, is a really good RPG. And even some people that have tried it out that didn't really know anything about Digimon ended up really getting into this RPG series. And at 60% off, equal to its lowest price ever at $19.99, now is a perfect time to pick up this game. So we jump from that game to another RPG, but this one is an original IP, and that is Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. That is just altogether one of the best RPGs on the Switch. Honestly, if you haven't played this and you're into the JRPG genre, you really have to do yourself a favor and play Nino Kuni. Don't be put off by the kid-like graphics. This has a really deep, full storyline. And right now at 75% off for only $12.49, you are getting a fully fleshed out JRPG for a really low price. Now, the next game is Dragon Ball Fighters: The Ultimate Edition. Now, this is a fighting game based around the Dragon Ball series, but it is an awesome fighting game all around. Whether you actually know Dragon Ball or not, this is just one of the best 2D fighters currently available on the Switch. And at 84% off for $17.59, you are getting an amazing package in the Ultimate Edition because you get a bunch of DLC characters already included in the pack. And for this week, if you ever wanted to jump into this game, go get the Ultimate Edition right away. For the eight extra, about $8 above the base edition, you really get a ton of worthwhile characters DLC-wise. So I would seriously say that this week, if you wanted to jump into this game, the best pack to get is the Ultimate Edition. Now, the next game on my list is going to be Moonlighter, the complete edition, which is basically the base game plus all the DLC that is currently 70% off for only $8.69. Now, this is a roguelite action RPG, and it has some really, really beautiful pixel art graphics. This, honestly, that is what attracted me to trying out this game at first, is the beautiful pixel art that they used for this game. But overall, what kept bringing me back over and over again is the very smooth top-down, almost Zelda-like gameplay to the game. Moonlighter, if you're into roguelite action RPGs, is one that you should definitely give a try. Uh, it is a little bit, it can get very difficult at times, but nonetheless, if you're willing to put in the time, it is worth the effort. So next on the list, we actually have a game that snuck in from my under $5 list from this week, and that is Mark of the Ninja Remastered, which is a game that completely blew my mind. It is so good. And currently at 75% off for only $4.99, this is a really awesome game. Number one, it has awesome 
retro graphics. The gameplay is smooth. And although it's called Mark of the Ninja, don't expect another Ninja Gaiden type gameplay. This actually plays out like Metal Gear Solid. It's all based around stealth kills and assassination. And Mark of the Ninja is an amazing, amazing representation of that style of gameplay in a 2D genre. Now, next on our list, we have Naruto Shippuden, the Ultimate Ninja Storm Trilogy. And earlier when we looked at the fourth edition of this series, and I said this wasn't the Naruto game I was suggesting as top for this week, I was referring to this trilogy. Because currently it is 50% off at $19.99, and you're getting all the first three Naruto Ninja Storms. And basically, if you want value for your money for this week, this is the pack I would pick up if you're a fan of Naruto, because you actually get to play through all three of the games for under $20. Now next, we have a returning favorite for these videos, and that is Katamari Damacy Reroll, which is currently 67% off for $9.89. Now this is for people who love puzzle type games. Basically, your father is the king of the universe, blows up all the planets, and it's your job to put them back together by basically rolling little balls around each stage and getting them to the size of a worthwhile planet. I know that sounds crazy, but trust me, it is super addictive and it is super fun as a laid back puzzle type game. If you need any more convincing for yourself anyway before purchasing it, there's a free downloadable demo to this game. Now the next game is one I had to mention for this week and that is the Namco Museum that Bandai Namco also put on sale for 67% at $9.89. With the release of Pac-Man 99, a lot of people are wanting to re-experience the original game and one of the best ways to do it is through the Namco Museum packs. You're not only getting Pac-Man though, you're getting the original Dig Dug, you're getting the original Galaga, you're getting also the original Splatterhouse, which is an awesome retro game that a lot of people actually didn't play back in the day. And at 67% off for $9.89 for all the games included in this pack, it's a pretty decent value. Now the next game on our list is going to be Tales of Vesperia, the Definitive Edition. That is currently 75% off for $12.49. Another great classic JRPG series on sale for this week. And Tales of Vesperia is an action RPG series if you didn't already know. It is one of the longest standing franchises as well. It isn't the longest, but it is among those franchises that are up above the 7th or 8th entry from those JRPG series. And the Tales of Vesperia is one of the better ones that we luckily got on the Switch to celebrate its 10th anniversary. Basically, at $12.49, it's a great time to pick it up and you're getting a ton of hours of gameplay for a low, low price. Now, another game that I was really excited to mention for this week is Children of Mortha, which is another roguelite dungeon crawler on the Nintendo Switch, but it is once again among one of the better ones available. And at 50% off for $10.99, it's an excellent time to pick up this game, especially because it just got some new DLC this week. What I love about this game is it's getting a ton of support from the developer. And that's something I really love to see is a developer that is giving DLC, but not only paid DLC, it's also giving a ton of free DLC for the game. So basically, if you're into roguelite dungeon crawlers, this is another one that you could maybe check out for this week. Now the next game on our series is going to be Gear Club Unlimited 2, which is currently 80% off at $7.99. I often point out the first one because the first one drops to like only $2, $3 on a regular basis. But Gear Club Unlimited 2 is actually a pretty decent update to the series. And right now at $7.99, if you're really into the racing genre, I would definitely say that it's worth paying the extra $3 to $4 to pick up the second edition of the game. You have a ton more cars and the gameplay is even more refined. So basically Gear Club Unlimited 2 is a definite pickup for a racing fan for this week. So for our next game, if you thought we were done with the anime franchises, well, not yet for this week. We have My Hero Once Justice 2 that is currently 60% off for $23.99. Now this is a game that I was waiting to get a really decent deal on it. Once again, it's like the Naruto Shippuden series. I love these games. They're tons of fun because I love the animes. 
but I don't feel like paying the full $60 price for these games because overall I won't play them long enough I find to be worth that investment. But right now at 60% off for $23.99, I think it's finally time to pick up the second entry to the series. It's a great fighter overall with tons and tons of fun action. So after that last game, we jump directly into another great anime franchise, and that is One Piece Pirate Warriors 3D Deluxe Edition. Now this week, you have both this game and the fourth one that are on sale. However, I personally, I like the cheap deals. I would go for the third one this week that is 75% off for only $9.99. It is basically the One Piece series with some awesome Warriors type action. So it's basically you against thousands of opponents. And it's just a ton of fun to basically button mash our way through the storyline with all the characters we know from the series. If you want to, we're going to look at the fourth one quickly in just a bit. Of course, the graphics are going to be updated. The storyline goes further and whatnot. But if you want just some really cheap, awesome action for this week, I would definitely go with the third one right here. Now, the next game is also one that I disregarded for quite a while on the Switch, and that is God Eater 3. But currently at 75% off for $14.99, this game is actually an amazing experience. It's a 3D action game, but it does feel a lot like a mini Monster Hunter. Although very anime driven and very storyline driven, contrary to the last Monster Hunter we got. But God Eater 3 basically has you fighting against these huge monster-like beings and using the weapons and basically using their body parts to build new weapons to confront bigger and tougher monsters. If you need any more convincing, once again, this one has a free downloadable demo. Now the next game on our list is one that I will just never shut up about, and that is Pumpkin Jack, that is currently 34% off for $19.79. It is a 3D action platformer, and it is very similar to the Medieval series from the PlayStation. And basically Pumpkin Jack is just an amazing experience for anyone who's into 3D platformers. And honestly, it was developed by only one person, ported by a second. And the way, reason why I'm pushing this game so much is that I actually like this game so much that I really want a sequel. So the more people I can actually get to try this game and have the developer actually see that there is a quite a bit of interest for this type of gameplay, well then maybe we'll get eventually a Pumpkin Jack 2. So earlier when we were looking at One Piece Pirate Warriors 3, I did mention that the fourth one was also on sale. Here you have the deluxe edition that is 45% off, dropping the price to $49.49 from $89.99. Uh, like I said, quite a bit more expensive, reason why I would jump on the $10 third edition of this game. Although, as I said, the gameplay does go further in the storyline and the graphics are better in this one. You can also pick up the base version of the game for $29.99, but the third one had all the DLC included because it was the complete edition, which is why, like I was saying, I would jump on the third one this week. But if you want the latest edition of the game, both the deluxe edition and base edition of the fourth game are on sale. Uh, of course, I would look at the DLC if you're really into this game. But then again, you can just spend the $29.99 on the base version. Now, the next game on our list is another one that snuck its way from my under $5 list of this week. But I had to talk about it, and that is Grizzland, which is honestly an amazing Metroidvania type game with the graphics looking almost like the Atari 2600. However, don't be fooled by those basic graphics. You do get a full Metroidvania adventure out of this game, although a bit on the short side. But then again, for 60% off for only $1.99, you are getting a really awesome experience for under $2. Now, next on our list, we have Fury Unleashed that is also 50% off this week, dropping it to $9.99. And this is a roguelite 2D action platformer. Uh, basically, this game, I always describe it as a roguelite Contra, and it's just as difficult as a Contra game as well. This is one that will come with a difficulty warning, but once again, awesome graphics, and if you put the time into the gameplay, it is really, really rewarding. 
So we're going to end this week's list with two of my favorite game packs that are currently on sale. And the first one of those two packs is the Valferis and Slain double pack that is currently 65% off for $13.99. And it's really the cheapest way to get both these games together. You get 2D awesome action platformers, one with shooting based combat and the other one with melee based combat. And really, you're getting an amazing retro experience from both these games. So if you're into that type of gameplay, it's an excellent time to pick up both these games. Now, the last collection to round off our list for this week is the one that we're looking at right now. And that is the Onikin and Odalis collection, which is currently 75% off, making it only $4.99 for both these games. Once again, 2D retro platformers. One in an almost Castlevania type style, although with RPG elements thrown in. And the other one more in a standard action gameplay style, sort of a slightly like a Ninja Gaiden, I would say. But both these games are once again, awesome old school 2D retro platformers. If you like those, I would say definitely pick up this collection for $5. It's one of the best ways to spend your money for this week. So that is pretty much it for this week's eShop deals video. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget to check out last week's video because there are a ton of great franchises that still have a few days left on the sale and I wouldn't want you to miss out on those. But as usual, thank you so much for watching and don't forget that if you did like it, please hit the like button. It really is the best way to help support the channel. At the same time, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Oh, and hit the notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.